What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid 10 Outdoors. How is my outdoor crew doing? I'm trying to get out of Nashville. <laughs> um, we are headed an hour west of where I live. We're headed to a little town called Burns, Tennessee. We're headed to a state park. We're going to put all this new gear to overnight test. And then hopefully we're going to start wearing it out. But uh, got a pretty cool dinner I'm going to fix tonight. See how um, the gazelle is going to work. It's not supposed to be stupid cold tonight. Uh, I think we're getting down into the high 30s. Um, so that's that works for me. Um, I haven't been to this park. I was trying to think. It's probably been since the mid 90 or mid 80s i keep saying 90s mid 80s is when i was in boy scouts actually but uh getting out of nashville i kind of getting out a little late but like i said it's only an hour drive uh the time i get there it'll be about two o'clock so that's okay and then we're gonna explore around the park either this afternoon or tonight or tomorrow uh maybe tomorrow uh, tear down the camp and we'll go explore around the park bring that at the end of the video so let's go let off some tension knock off the camping cobwebs for 2023 first camp out and let's get it on So we made it to camp. I actually already set the gazelle up. I'm sitting in the truck right now. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to go explore the park because it's only 3.30. And uh, I'll give you a quick glimpse of the gazelle here in just a minute. But I uh, got it set up. Got the cot and everything in it. The cot's bigger than I thought it was. It's tight. But it's also the way the gazelle does. I'll, I'll tell you real quick and we'll get together. Okay, I got it set up in here. Let's see. This way right now. Now I can turn it whatever, however I want to, but that's how it's sitting right now. And it's tight. She's really tight. Tighter than I thought it was going to be. So keep that in mind if you have the Teton. Um, XL cot, double XL cot. It's gonna be tight going into the tent. We're going that way. I'll put the door up. And we're gonna go right around the park. There's my site, which is plenty enough for me. But uh, there's a creek over there. Those sites, they're stay booked up. There's hiking trails up through there and up there. Um, crazy thing is uh, we had some bad storms here yesterday and well I have no electricity in places matter of fact the bathroom behind me has no electricity hang on has no electricity which I don't care um, but anyway so we're gonna ride around the park maybe a minute though but we're going to ride around the park and take a, take a look at some stuff. I'm in sight 56 or 65, 65. I ain't wrong the whole time. I thought somebody was in my spot, my sight. But they weren't. I just had the wrong number in my head. But uh, we'll set up everything else later. I'm not going to set it all up right now. Well, let's go take a ride and see if we can't take some pictures and uh, take a look at the camp. All right, I was going to show you the park, but my GoPro has taken a crap. So I'm going to have to do everything. I don't know what it's doing. It's weird. Maybe it needs update. I don't know. But this is a gorgeous place. Um, really gorgeous place. Big, big park. Um, they need to spread the camp. Uh, they, they could... They could literally seriously open another campgrounds 
thin down how many they actually have in the main campgrounds and be much better off um, matter of fact I'd, I'd, I dare say I wouldn't mind seeing some primitive camping spots like I had at uh, Mousetail I would be thrilled to camp in that um, but anyway um, here we go down here I'll pull over and stop we'll get it from the road I don't know if you guys can see this or not I'll try to zoom down to the trees that's a little lake I guess or it may be a, I'll put it down below if I figure out what this is but dang we up here <laughs> it's gorgeous hopefully you can see what I'm trying to show you I'll zoom back out my head helps All right, but gorgeous, gorgeous park. Really pretty. Nighttime update. I haven't been filming much today. Um, I didn't film the cook video that I wanted to. Um, just been hanging out. Um, so, hadn't been a whole lot to it. I got the uh, lava box going. She's rocking right along. Probably can't see it, but behind me is the gazelle. Um, family across from me in campgrounds is wrapping up a 18 day trip they started in New Hampshire where they're from drove all the way to California and headed back home doing it all in a Dodge Ram four door four wheel drive with a rooftop tent and there's four people and one dog but we were talking about setups and uh, I think it was his son that said dad that guy's got a set up too and so me and him got to talking and I said yeah I'd love to be able to do a rooftop tent but I can't because I can't climb a ladder anymore so I'm a ground dweller from here on out and uh, he said the, that uh, rooftop tent's got a uh, California King in it and he said they will load up in the morning and I don't know if they're going to try to go all the way back I think they've got to go all the way back tomorrow to New Hampshire so they'll probably be gone before I get up or about the time I get up um but anyway, everything has worked out pretty good as far as gear goes. The lava box, the gazelle tent so far. Uh, I'm going to go in there later and I'm going to um, fire up the buddy heater. Probably about 9.30 or 10. I'll go in there and call it a night. And looks like they're... No, their fire's still going. They really liked the lava box. They said that was pretty cool. But uh, anyway... I will put a picture up right now of what I had tonight. I had garlic, steak, and potatoes, and they were awesome. Everything was done just right. It was just yum, 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 yum. So anyway, in the morning, I'm going to have scrambled eggs and spam. Actually, going to revive a recipe I did once before camping. So I may have a visitor in the morning. I'm not far from where a good friend of mine lives and he said he may stop by on his way home from work. I said, okay. But anyway, it's gonna get down to the low 40s tonight. Maybe 
I, I don't know, I hadn't checked it in a while. It's 51 now. It's cool. I mean, crazy, like I said, crazy thing is there's no electricity in the campgrounds uh, taken out by the storm yesterday. So it is what it is. But maybe I can get some more stuff tomorrow, get some pictures and stuff. Um, I've just been concentrating on set up everything for the summer or this year. And I think I've got everything that dialed pretty well in. Everything on the cook gear went great tonight. Used my uh, pop-up uh, pot to boil water in for dishes. Mwah, perfect. Um, I'm trying to think what else did I do? I don't know, there was something else. But that's it for now. Um, unless something crazy happens, I may not pick the camera back up tonight. And I'll see y'all in the morning. Well, sun's coming up right over there. It got down to, let's see, 38 degrees. Chilly one. Buddy heater in the gazelle. Holy crap. Made a, that gazelle tent holds the heat in a lot better than the old tent did. Thicker material, you know, what do you expect? Um, lava box is doing great, it's rocking. But uh, I don't know, I may do some more here in a little while. I'm gonna eat breakfast and uh, go from there. A couple from the family from New Hampshire that was camping right there are gone. Today they make their journey back home after today will be the 18th day on the road camping. Wife, husband, two kids, five and 13, and a dog. And one pickup truck and one rooftop tent. So, pretty awesome. All right guys. Oh, and by the way, that's that's this is why we do this. It's because of the experience. All right. <clears throat> I don't know if I've said it in this video or not, but this GSI collapsible pot, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Um, second time I've used it, boiling some water for dishes here, and uh, I really like it. Worked well. My new skillet. My new. My new uh, on stick it's also gsi awesome i love it all the amazon affiliate link stuffs down below if you want to pick up one of these um, but yeah the pot everything i wanted the skillet everything i wanted nice thick um, it's not too stupid um, heavy but I wouldn't, I mean, it's perfect for car camping. But anyways, uh, oh, and the GSI foldable spatula worked great too. Cooked a little breakfast up this morning. Um, waiting for the sun to hit the tin a little bit more, dried off. It has come up over there, you can see. So it's already on the tin. It's not terribly wet. I mean, we had some dew this morning, but it's not bad. So, I figure the time I do dishes and everything, yeah, it's already drying off. It's been a breeze, too, blowing. Um, so, by the time that dries off, hang on, let me get your reposition. By the time that dries off, um, I'll be ready to take it down. By the time this dries off, I'll be ready to come down. Matter of fact, I may spin this to help dry it. But, Anyway, um, I don't know, we'll see what we get into here in a minute. Still don't have power in the campground, but my buddy came by that lives in the area to see me for a few minutes, said they just got power back this, or last night at nine o'clock, and they've been without power since Friday from the storm, so it is what it is, guys. And, you know, they got a wood-burning fireplace. I talked to his wife last night. She said they were burning wood in the fireplace. Stay warm. 
but uh, anyway it's beautiful it's a beautiful campground I think it's a little overcrowded um, you could there's there's so much land here they could add on a campground and take some spots out of this one they're just too close together but I guess I got used to staying at Daniel Boone and Big South Fork where you kind of spread out um, all right that's it for now uh, anything happens we'll come back All right, guys, I'm going to close out the video. Uh, appreciate you watching. It was a great night. Everything worked out the way I was hoping it would. All the gear worked like it should, so I'm ready for more. Um, don't know what my next one will be. Don't know where it will be yet. But I may either try to get another one in end of the month or maybe 1st of April. And then May comes and we'll be at, uh, um, we'll be at, uh, uh, the YouTuber meetup, is what I'm trying to say. Um, going through a little town called White Bluff. If you know where that is, that's where I'm at. I'll show you real quick. Don't blink. We went through it. Okay. But no, seriously, um, got a visit this morning from a good friend of mine that goes back to when me and Bill first met matter of fact he used to hang out with us all but they've moved up this way so I got to hang out with him this morning he had sausage and biscuit he brought me I appreciated that Greg uh, then I had some spam and eggs <laughs> uh, I heard some of you cringing just then but uh, I'm gonna get back home I've got one repair my poor chair my poor chair screw came out of it so i'm gonna have to get some new screws uh put back in that bad boy because it ain't time to retire it yet but uh the biggest thing i like about it is it's kind of a tall chair so for my tall hind end to get up and down it's a whole lot better than those ones that sit on the ground just about but all that said Montgomery bell state park beautiful park uh, sorry I didn't get much on it on the GoPro. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, never had a problem with the Hero 8 until this trip. And it just, I don't know, weird, weirdness. Um, so, all that said, Montgomery Bell State Park, if you're in the area, check it out. Watch your campsites. Um, it can be kind of small. And if you're using a camper, especially if you're using a camper, Man, it can be tight, so watch your spots. Uh, ten spots, I mean, mine was uh, mine was perfect. It was what I always, you know, envisioned when I camp with my new setup, with the setup I'm running. Back end, ten off to one end is the very back. You know, kitchen areas behind the tailgate, or the tailgate and stuff. Worked. It's exactly what I wanted. So, we'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Be prepared.